Okay, I, I, I was talking about fan base the other day. Um, I, I talk about fan base a lot in, in interviews uh, or when I'm, when I'm talking about like these mega companies, the very few mega companies. And there's nothing wrong with competing with giants. And if you think of like, um, I don't know how many other Instagram alternatives there is. And the, there's one that I know of that just so happens to be black owned. And that's fan base. And uh, it's important that we have black owned awesomeness, especially if we're audacious enough to compete with giants. You know, if you're competing with a company that's worth a trillion dollars and you come close, yo, what's wrong with that? You know, people are going to invest money in, in whatever stuff. You're going to invest money in somebody else's stuff, not even knowing, you know, that's, that's somebody else's stuff at one point in time didn't really fuck with us. So fan base being an alternative that has a, a business model that supports creatives, you know, and folks to have access to their reach. That's an awesome thing. And it's even more awesome that it's black owned. I've invested in AI companies. I've started AI companies. I've sold AI solutions. And really at the end of the day, you know, our spinning power, our cool making, you know, our situation at this point in time, you know, we could get ourselves out of this if we supported ourselves, especially in this, in this Renaissance, it's going to take our, you know, uncles, our aunts, our mothers, our fathers to, you know, our next door neighbors, our friends, our cousins. Our grandmas or grandpas, you know, it's going to take us all to to help us all out. We are our own Calvary at this point in time, especially with this new tool that we got. And so I, I know firsthand, I got company, I got a company, FYI.ai, it's hard raising money, especially in black and brown businesses, you know, and uh, we could come up, we could pull ourselves up, you know, make time for one another and and, and support one another. That's why when when you were like, yo, I'm doing this thing. I'm like, yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show up in any, in any form of whether it's virtual. If I was in LA, I would get on an airplane. I'll fly to wherever your event was. Um, but yeah, we all need, we need each other right now. Thank you. I mean, well, right now, the minimum to invest is $399. Um, that gets you 60 shares of stock and fan base. And that's critical at this early stage of a company. Um, it's not just that, like you could invest money or you could just use it all the time to think about the things that we actually invest in you know like we've invested in characters that poison our community like we celebrate the folks that poison our community we look up to the cats that like got our aunts and uncles strung out on a substance we we bigging them up like think about the shit that we actually entertain and like respect at the highest level you know you not Nino Brown. The same juice, but you got a different juice. You got, you know, some that every I wish my wish I could get my cousins and my my niece and my nephew to be like, yo, I'm gonna start my own tech company. We need more Isaac Hazens. You know, your dad inspired inspired me to make music. You're gonna inspire my my cousins and my and my my family members to start tech companies. I hope you know because when they see Uncle Willie. They were like, that's to call my Uncle Willie, you, you crazy, Uncle Willie. But when they see somebody else doing it too, right alongside, we, we got a we got a movement. So back to what I was saying, 399 bucks. You gonna spend 399 bucks eventually on some bullshit. But if you're gonna invest $399 and then use it every day to ensure that your your investment grows. And you get your cousins and, and the neighborhood to be on it every day. Yeah. And a movement happens, you know, and you a part of it as it grows. And you pushing it to grow, you out here farming uh, and, and nurturing something that will change our communities. Like, think of Instagram's worth a lot of money. Yeah. It's not just like, it's a lot of money. Oh, you yeah. know, TikTok is massive. But it's it's not just the loop. It's it's the it's the you know people using it all the time, believing in it. You know that being a part of Beats, I saw it. You know people use Beats. They wore them every right. That was the, the choice, and it was different from like you know it. It was a movement. They they spent their money and they wore them. 
like what you're doing is like community based. It's like, yo, invest, use it, and we all grow. That's that's pretty powerful. Yeah, man. I mean, I want to thank you. I know you're a busy guy. Um, I appreciate you uh, for for taking the time uh, as soon as you land in South Africa. I want you to you know continue to to continue to lead the tech space because I'm I'm really tapped into what you're doing and everything that you do. Uh, we are allies in this tech space together, and I value uh, your friendship and your mentorship and your experience very much. But I, I want to thank you for taking time to join us at the Investathon. Thank you, and, and check out FYI.ai. All the folks listening to this, that's my company. Um, yep, we in the thick of it, getting ready to deploy our tech across, you know, amazing, uh, amazing hardware, partnering up with other companies as well. But a salute, fan base. Uh, thanks for for your bravery, your audaciousness, your ambition. Anything I could do to help? I'll be there. All right, peace out, bro. <laughs> Thank you, my guy. I appreciate it.